Connor Newman is a 22-year-old man from the northeast of England. His life has recently turned into a public showcase due to fame that he has found through the internet video blogging site YouTube. Due to his fame, he has become increasingly reclusive. Fans initially became drawn to his videos after a series of his magic tricks were mentioned by famous video bloggers on the site. Drawn in by his casual attitude and sometimes naive innocence, he became an overnight internet celebrity. Although his fan base are loyal, it has not always been praise that he has received from the mass of internet users. The website Encyclopedia Dramatica has a page entirely devoted to mocking his videos, saying that his e-fame is founded by staged videos similar to the internet web serial Lonely Girl 15. The website referred to merely as Ed by its users has an article slamming Connor and his videos, encouraging viewers to either switch off or troll him. The trolling eventually forced him to leave his former home when an over-enthusiastic fan took matters into their own hands and began regularly turning up on his doorstep. Now that a restraining order is in place, Connor is happy in his new home but sometimes reluctant to leave it, causing his friends and family to worry about him. Determined to set the record straight, Connor has allowed our cameras to come into his life and record a series of interviews so fans can get to know the real man behind the video. Well, today I had a film crew um, coming to interview me about being famous on the internet, you know, doing these video diaries for blogs. Ah, hello. Well, I've got a friend here today who's camcordering. There you go, she's waving for you. So where are we going? Just pop into the shop to, you know, get some milk and that. Do you often pop to the shops on your own? As little as I can. <laughs> oh, I don't like this when people get in with me. Look, it's the guy from the internet. Have your eyebrow, please. See, we found you a fan. <laughs> <laughs> mm, fair enough. Oh, I'm waiting for, looking for a pen now. Do you have a pen? Oh, there it is. I like the video you did when you're dancing in your bedroom. Thank you. There you go. Please. When did you notice that your YouTube account was starting to get more attention? By the comments, really. At first, it was just like me friends who knew me leaving comments and that. But then it started off with people who I didn't know. Then more comments came of random strangers, and then people started subscribing more and more to my account. So, what would you say is your biggest hit on YouTube? Um. Oh, the magic trick ones. Um. Right, here's a magic trick for you today. Today I have a friend doing the filming. Say hello friend. There you go. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. What I'm going to ask is the camera to shake when you want me to stop. Okay, first of all I'm just going to show you that all the cards are different. I'm not cheating. Yeah? So what would you have to say to the YouTube users? Of which there are a, a few who we have spoken to who accuse you of being like another... Lonely Girl 15 and uh, faking personal information in your video diaries? I have no comment about that. Um, anyway, we have to stop filming. I've had it enough. So just stop filming. Connor? No, no, Connor. No. Connor! Sorry. So you're not filming them right now, though, are you? No, I'm just getting the light levels. I'm just making sure that I've got the right kind of levels on this because uh, yesterday there was a bit too much light and I couldn't use that like interview you, that we did so I'm going to have to ask you like them questions again if that's alright. I was a bit thrown off this morning like when I came in and saw Emma here was she is she like um, just one of your friends or something? Well she's a friend but she also helps me do the video blogging she's like... What where? Well, she likes helps 
make it um, the ideas sometimes she sometimes it's her ideas that she comes up with. Do you think your viewers would be sort of shocked to find out that you don't come up with all your ideas? Yeah, I don't think it'll bother them. But I don't really want to let them know to be honest. Plus she doesn't want her name mentioned. Um she's like the ghost. No one gets to know. Mm. Are you sure you're not filming? Yeah, I'm just checking the light levels. Since he became famous on YouTube, uh, do you think the fame has affected Conor at all? I'd say yes, he can't grow up much anymore. Mm. Um, stays in, has movie nights and things now instead of is going out. that because of the fans? Yeah, they just don't leave him alone. Is it, has it become quite bad, you find, with some of them? There is one in particular that just keeps harassing him. I don't know why, just she doesn't seem to want to leave him alone. You yourself have never appeared in any of Connor's videos. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide to take part in the documentary? Because I know him and it's not... I don't have to run around and look like a fool. It's more an informal sit down and chat. Do you think the documentary is going to help towards maybe getting some of the fans to back off? I don't know, some it might, but it might make some worse. Because then they see him who he really is. So, connor has been recently uh, accused by some of the other YouTube users um, of faking some of his video blogs and using pre-scripted things. Do you have anything to sort of say to that? No, uh, that's it. I think we can do that. Thank you. So, there was um, an incident a couple of months ago with uh, a fan becoming a bit overly aggressive and it resulted in you having to move residences. Uh, could you maybe talk a little about that? Um, well, it was scary, I will admit. It um, came to the point where I'd have my mobile in my pocket, he would just go up the toilet to phone the police out because he was always at my door. But the, uh, the council and the police were very helpful, I have to say thank you. And they moved me pretty fast and actually I, I like this new place, it's not too bad. But, um, yeah. So when do you think it'll be time to uh, pack up and say goodbye to YouTube? When the fans are sick of me, when they don't want to watch me anymore, because to be honest, it's them who keep me going. If I didn't have any fans or people want to watch my blogs or videos, I wouldn't do it. What do you want to do with your life apart from be on YouTube? Well, like you've heard, I've got loads of pets. Uh, I love animal care, I love helping animals, so I'd, I'd love to get into a job with animal care. You think your internet notoriety can help you with that? Well, uh, there might be some fans out there who work for a zoo or something, wink wink, you know, get me a job. <laughs> Is there a last uh, set of interviews today, you're going to miss me when, I, when I'm gone. I'll, I won't miss the camera, let's just say that. E even though you spend most of the time in front of a camera. Well, it, it's more personal, I can say where I want and how I want, you know. Where this is, it's all planned, it's more formal than informal. You think the documentary is going to, um, like, help you with your fans or maybe hinder you in the future? I can't say really, it's 50-50, it, it could make me more popular than I already am or it could break me, you know, fans could not like the real me, so to say. We're all done with everything now. Thank you very much. Welcome. Well, that actually bastard's up. Polly do the printing.